The first priority at OxyLance is safety. Do not perform cutting operations without first reading all safety material and reviewing OSHA and ANSI requirements. A thorough understanding of fire is necessary in order to safely use any oxygen cutting system, whether it is oxyacetylene or burning bars. Fire is a chemical reaction that combines fuel, heat, and oxygen. Increasing the available fuel, heat, or percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere has a drastic effect on the fire. Oxygen is an odorless, tasteless, non-flammable gas that makes up 21% of our atmosphere. In chemical terms, oxygen is an oxidizer. Even though oxygen is non-flammable, it supports combustion. Flammability of materials increases as the concentration of oxygen increases. When the percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere is above 24%, the atmosphere is oxygen enriched. The percentage of oxygen in the glass jar is above 50%. Materials such as wood that will burn in air burn violently in an oxygen-enriched atmosphere. Materials such as oxygen hose that will barely char when exposed to a direct flame will burn rapidly when exposed to a flow of pure oxygen. Clear surgical hose with low pressure oxygen flowing through it visibly demonstrates the speed that materials burn in pure oxygen. It also shows how a flame will travel against the gas flow in the case of an oxygen fire. All Oxylance safety literature makes numerous references about oxygen leaks and not using the system if leaks are occurring. Oxygen from a leaking holder or hose will saturate clothing and gloves. There is a requirement in the Compressed Gas Association that clothing articles exposed to pure oxygen shall be removed and allowed to air out for 30 minutes. Here, you will see how a pipe cleaner, when exposed to an open flame, will char and smolder. After sitting for a few seconds in an oxygen-enriched environment, the pipe cleaner man burns rapidly when exposed to a flame. Never allow clothing to become saturated with oxygen. Always wear proper safety clothing and eye protection.